to show you how these pre-capillary sphincters and the caliber, the diameter of arterioles uh, is, is actually a big determinant of what happens in tissues uh, when there is a fluctuation in metabolic activity. So this basically flowchart is of increased tissue metabolic activity. So you have, uh, it has just, so exa for example, this is a muscle uh, which has just, you have just started to in, uh, exercise and there is an in increased metabolic activity. So the demand of oxygen uh, is there and the existing oxygen is low and the carbon dioxide that you're now producing in this muscle is more and other metabolites, which are waste products are more now. Okay, so what do you do with this situation? You need oxygen, you need carbon dioxide and other meta metabolites to be removed from, from these tissues. So you need something to change now. What, how does the microcirculation change? I'm not talking about what happens to the heart or the big arteries. We are now talking about the microcirculation. So you would expect the precapillary sphincters to relax because you want more blood flow now, okay? So the precapillary sphincters will relax and the arterioles will vasodilate. So both of the functions of the, of this, uh, uh, of the arterial end is to pump more blood towards the capillary to address your uh, decreased oxygen and increased carbon dioxide, okay? Relaxation of precapillary sphincters and arterial vasodilation. Both of them now look at how they increase the capillary blood flow. Number of open capillaries increases delivery of oxygen removed carbon dioxide takes place. These open capillaries basically increase the surface area, decreases the, dif uh, different, uh, the distance that uh, diffusion across which needs to take place. Uh, and so eventually your original requirement is fulfilled, increase oxygen and removal of excessive carbon dioxide.